Welcome back to the vlog. <laughs> it's another day. Uh, today, I'm actually going to make a little video on um, how to do kind of a DIY uh, hunting closet. If you have a small space at your house and you have a bunch of hunting gear like we do and you don't really have that much space to put it and you want to put it inside in a nice closet where it stays dry and uh, out of the weather and um, dust and whatever. Or maybe you don't have a garage. So... Uh, anyways, I'm gonna show you guys real quick kind of the closet, of the area I'm working with, and then uh, we're gonna cut some wood. I'm actually gonna build kind of some cool stuff in here and try to maximize our closet space. This is the closet that we're working with. So I have a bunch of ammo up here, stuff for the shooting range, gun stuff, gun cleaning stuff, old game bags, shotgun shells, and then. We have some of KK's hunting clothes and stuff for hunting. Extra clo uh, storage, like extra clothes storage down here. And then we have a bunch of our old backpacks and then a lot of my hunting gear on this side. But I really want to maximize the space. I think we could store both our hunting stuff in here as well as our extra clothing and whatnot. I just got to kind of rearrange it and make it a little bit more efficient. I would say. So somehow we gotta fit all this stuff back into the closet with our hunting gear. So, it shouldn't be too bad. I think I wanna make something where we can like hang backpacks either up here or like on a board or something here. Somewhere where we could hang our backpack so I could just grab it and pull it off and go. So they're not sitting on the floor all the time. Um, extra storage. I think I'm going to leave these shelves in here just because they're already pretty sweet. I just got to retouch them up, repaint them. They're kind of um, a little old. But uh, touch those up. I'm going to get rid of this guy, I think. And maybe have a couple. Maybe leave one up halfway. And one up halfway so I could hang some stuff. And I'm going to keep these shelves on this side as well. But just try to make it a little more user friendly so I could gather my stuff and get it a little easier. Because so right now there's usually a bunch of clothes hanging here. So you got to like move the clothes back to get to your hunting gear. We got boots on the ground and stuff down there. I want to be able to get some of this other stuff gathered up and make it a little bit a little bit better i gotta figure out some way to get all this gear back into that closet organized nicely that and all that gear too got a lot of stuff we'll see if we can get fit all of it back in there So I've already measured and taken some dimensions. I have two of these boards that are gonna go hang vertical here and here. And then in between there, I'm gonna have these little planks and those will go flat all the way down. So you can put um, booths or something, kind of like a shelf here in the middle. Okay, real quick, I'll take you out here. I'll show you uh, this piece of plywood I cut, but it's kind of windy, so. Um, I took a big regular 4x8 sheet of plywood. I'm not sure the thickness on it. It's close to a half inch, I think. can't remember what I bought. And then I, uh, I cut it uh, to 79 and 3 quarters, which is the height that I need for my inside of my closet. And then I'm going to cut it to two strips 11 inches wide out of this sheet. And those will be the two side pieces. Here's the big sheet that I just cut regular 4 by 8 sheet I cut this little piece off and now I'm going to measure 11 inches wide cut all the way down and then I'll have two of those alright guys alright guys so I've cut all my pieces of wood um, or at least the two side pieces I'm going to paint them real quick I'll show you guys what I have so far and what I'm going to use to paint. Um, 
just kind of doing the audio on here because once again it's still really windy the past few days have been crazy yesterday there was up to 30 mile an hour gusts up in the mountains and it was snapping off trees for sure but i'll show you the paint we're using and i'm going to paint these guys real quick just some basic house paint color placing did this at walmart had this for a while so there's not much left in it but should be enough to do it we're doing the satin i do a bunch of boards here all right a little update my phone died so i uh put on the charger and then i kept working but i got my both my boards painted you can see here and this one and i screwed them in through the top i had to dr drill some pilot holes so i didn't crack this plywood drill some pilot holes and just put two screws in and they're and they're pretty solid now so that one's got a little squeakiness against the paint but that's okay then we're going to get the hardware to mount these uh shelf brackets and we'll put some shelves across in between here but uh give you a good look at it Pretty sweet, should be a little easy divider. Put some shoes on and stuff, and I think I'm gonna keep the sockets to keep my uh, little pole up here so I can hang some jackets and whatnot. Pretty sweet so far. All right. Okay, I just went to the hardware store, bought these guys. These are gonna be like my little shelf brackets. We're gonna put two on each on the inside of these all right all the way up to the top and then uh a little piece that goes onto here and makes like a little ledge for your shelves to sit on so i'm gonna put these in real quick and then uh give you guys another update all right we're getting there got these things screwed in and uh Got the other side screwed in, screwed in as well. I'm painting my shelves right now, and then I'll get my shelves put in there, and then we'll see what it all looks like and test it out. Show you guys what it looks like when it's done. Okay, so I got the rest of my plywood painted up. I'm just gonna cut shelves out of this across here like that. I'm just gonna make a bunch of shelves just Gotta make a bunch of different cuts across there, and I should have should have a decent amount of shells, six or seven, I'm thinking. Kendra helped me cut the shells today by holding them, and then she also sanded the edges so we could paint them. So those are gonna be the shells. They look pretty solid. Safety first, right? Have two people cutting. Yep. <laughs> So we don't lose a finger in the process. We don't wear any safety goggles or anything. No safety goggles? What the heck? Okay, so we put our little, these little metal bracket dilly things in there. Now we're going to put the shelf in there. Go for it, kinks. She's got it. Oh, shorty with the tall shelf. I'll help you. Here. Got it. <laughs> put our shelves in pretty easy. They just slide in. Voila. <laughs> okay, got all the shelves in. Looks pretty solid, I think. I love it. I don't know, I think it looks really good. I'm not a carpenter or master carpenter by any means, but I think it looks pretty solid. A little bit of a gap back there, but I'm gonna hang a curtain rod we'll do one curtain rod on this side and then one curtain rod on that side as well and we'll put some stuff in here and we'll show you what it looks like when it's kind of all filled up with like i said all this gear got a lot of gear to put back in there <laughs> sweet we got those dowels put in so now we got a little spot where you can hang like your jackets or your pants or something like that kk's already got her boots put in there her feet are small enough, she can fit three pairs across here. Pretty sweet, I can fit two. I think it's gonna be pretty legit. We're gonna uh, fill it full of our gear and then we'll maybe take a little picture and show you what it looks like with all of our gear put in there. All right, 
put everything back in the closet. We got ammo up top, gun cleaning stuff, and then we have uh, KK stuff, some of her hunting clothes, a oh, nice dress for the prom, her backpacks, we got boots, a little bit of hunting gear, bino harnesses, calls, stuff for the range, game bags, bunch of electronics, trail cameras, video camera, a little more electronics up here, maps, a lot of my hunting gear in here, my backpack down there, shooting sticks, and some more hunting stuff like decoys, base layers, extra game bags, stuff like that. Looks pretty good though. I uh, just wanted to close out that video um, about making my new little hunting closet in my back room and uh, I'll give you guys some more updates as we kind of put that room together. Um, it's kind of a work in progress, just kind of like a little uh, um, hunter's cave I call it because KK also likes to hunt so it can't really be a man cave. So um, anyways, thanks for watching. If you're new to our channel, um, Go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button for us. That'd be really awesome. It let you know whenever we make new videos, when new content comes out, and there will be some more fishing videos coming up soon. I think there's maybe a couple more shed hunting videos. Um, and then we're gonna start kicking off our trail cam season, which is gonna be a lot of fun. I feel like trail camming is one of um, our better things that we do. Um, we tend to get a lot of good trail cam pictures, and for some reason that just ends up being one of the highlights of our summer. So. Uh, follow along with us. We're going to have some new content coming up and uh, just thanks for watching and thanks for checking our channel and uh, seeing what we got going on. If you're interested, these are some sweet new hats by the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation. They say hunting is social distancing, which is really cool. So I got this new hat the other day from the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation. So if you get a chance, shoot over to them and check them out. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, See you guys later from the uh, living room slash kitchen.